Have you ever paused to consider who truly owns all that surrounds us and fills our lives? Stay with me, as today we delve into a profound scripture that reveals the magnitude of God's sovereignty and grace. Today, we gather to glorify our Heavenly Father, the source of all grace and blessings. It is He who crafts our days and furnishes the universe with its splendor. Let us approach His Word with reverent hearts and minds. Our focus today is drawn from the first book of Chronicles, chapter 29, verse 11. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness, the power and the glory, the victory and the majesty. For all that is in heaven and in earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head over all. This verse, penned during a pivotal moment, encapsulates King David's profound praise to God during the offerings for the temple's construction. David, nearing the end of his reign, leads the assembly in acknowledging that all they possess and all they have achieved is by God's provision. It is a public declaration that God alone is the ultimate authority over creation and mankind. In unpacking this verse, we observe several dimensions of God's nature. His greatness speaks to His immeasurable and incomparable stature. His power underscores His ability to act and His control over the cosmos. His glory reflects His majesty and the honor that is due only to Him. His victory and majesty indicate His supremacy and the beauty of His sovereignty. Each attribute tells us about the extent of God's rule, both in the heavens and on earth. Recognizing this hierarchy instills in us a humble acknowledgement of our place in His creation. In a world that often promotes self-sufficiency and control, this verse invites us to reflect on our own perceptions of ownership and power. It challenges us to recognize that every achievement, possession, and breath we take is not ours by right, but is entrusted to us by God. Our response, therefore, should be one of humility and steadfast trust in His divine will. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank You for reminding us of Your infinite greatness and sovereignty over all creation. Teach us to hold lightly to the things of this earth and to trust wholly in Your eternal provision and guidance. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Thank you, my brothers and sisters. May this message guide and enrich your hearts as you continue to seek and celebrate God's majestic presence in your lives. God bless you all.